and, and Jared is defending his own. Oh, he's in though! He heard bad! Blocks it out! He's out of the field! He's out of the field! Body kick from Cannonier! Oh, Jumps oh, this with the right hand! Feels like the beginning of the end! He heard him with an elbow and close! This is it! Oh! oh. There's your statement made! Started with this elbow as Brunson was trying to clinch. A nice elbow there, and then he follows it up with another one. And you can see the little back fist there. Look at the look on his face. He's out on his feet there. He's dazed. He's confused. Cannoneer, bang, landed that elbow. Beautiful work. Goes at it again. That one just kind of glanced a little bit, but the first one did a lot of damage, and that was the beginning of the end. Nice little back fist. Forced him down to the feet. And then some huge elbows. Right before the towel came in, Brunson was out cold. Let's take a look. Good shot there. Big, nasty, vicious elbow. And another one. That one put him to sleep. Total strikes, three to one for Cannoneer. Oh, okay, that hurt Silva. And immediately Herb Dean Whoa. stops the fight. Oh, Silva thought about there. fighting back for a second, but is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. I mean, that's a good inside leg kick. You don't know the extent of the injury, but you see Cannoneer throw his hip all the way into the kick, and it lands at the knee, right? Like, right at the knee is where that kick landed. That's, uh, that's one of the most painful kicks you could take in all of fighting. Oh! Huge left hand for Cannoneer! Oh, Esther's not going to survive this. Take a look here, beautiful handiwork, fakes the left, comes straight right, and look as he shifts his stance to a lefty stance, brings his right leg forward as he comes over the top with that left hand. Watch this, high level stuff that we're seeing now in the UFC. Fighters like TJ Dillashaw, Dominic Cruz, guys shifting stances mid-combination, excellent work there from Cannoneer. He said to me this week that Asker gets a little predictable, and on his side, he didn't want to be predictable at all. Hey, remember how we said he's got three good takedowns in him? That was five. So, man, oh, he's got oh, 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 oh. Branch forced to cover up. Oh, Branch is hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness, Cannonier hit hard. Oh! Cannonier the ground and pound at the end was just ferocious. You see, Branch caught him with the right hand, but look at the difference. Cannonier hit him with the right hand, and then the ground and pound behind it, which was so terrifying. There's the right hand again. Boom! On the chin, sends Branch staggering. Cannonier jumps on him and just starts swinging. Hammers! Boom! Boom! And the referee rescued him. Perfect time. Check that one. And it's normally the smile on the face of the Joker. Will that change? Oh, that was a good oh, uppercut. Oh, he met. Manson looked like he's hurt here. Cannoneer's throwing it hard. quiet. Here's the ground and pound that Cannoneer talked about as well. Yeah, he's he's hurt. hurt. He said he has concussive ground and pound. Oh! oh it. Wow! Cannoneer gets it done! Guys, sorry. <laughs> wow, look at these Jared replays. Jared Cannonier is one of his cornermen is coming over and telling us about how he's been knocked out so many times in training camp for this. And you see him doing it right here, too. Look at the power that he generates from these shots. And he really has an... Oh! Front kick, rock roll right there. He's staggering that shit. He's hurt. Ate a left hand and then a knee. He's turning his back. Oh. Catches another right hand. He's still rocking. Cannonier knows it. Cannonier's going to open up here. And this is a bad place to be now. It's Cannonier elbows. Elbows. The referee looking close. He's got to stop it. And he does. And look at Rorick. He still wanted to go. Than ever. And there's the front kick. Caught him right in the jaw. You can see him wobbly here. Cannonier knew it. Catches him with the hook. Going to the body now. And really unloaded. Oh. Beautiful elbow. And, and you can see Rorick all heart, but just couldn't even hold himself up. And then these are massive elbows being landed here. No reason for that fighter to continue oh. to take these. Really good stoppage. There's not been a lot of diversity in what Jock Ray's thrown. Beautiful. Big right hand, wild left hand, no knees or front kicks oh. up the middle. He's hurt. Massive head kick for Whitaker, follows it up with a straight right. Oh, Sosa's in trouble here. 
Whitaker trying to get the ground and pound going. Oh, Whitaker pulling wow. it on now. How is, how is Jacare surviving? <laughs> and that is it. Robert Whitaker has done it. Flawless performance by Whitaker. Here's the early knockdown. Boom. Right hand right behind the ear. Drops him. And then he intelligently lands a few, gets back up. Putting his combinations together. Hurts him with the high kick there as he came around his defense. And look at the hand speed. Quick. And then here he knew he had him bad. And he never let him recover. Relentless with his elbows. Jock Ray would turn away. It was a little bit of an odd time. He, he could have stopped it anywhere here. And as Jock Ray seemed to be looking to get back to his feet, this is where the stoppage. But when he got back up, he was very, very wobbly. Excellent stoppage. Watch as he follows the right high kick behind the right hand. Good work from Whitaker so far. Brunson scrambling. He's rushing forward. Oh! Tavares landed heavily again to that lead leg. And for Whitaker, you got to watch out for that slick left hook. He throws it from everywhere. There it is. Man. Oh! Two early knockdowns for Whitaker. Oh, Tavares is gone. Robert Whitaker! Being on that end of the equation in the UFC. Well, again, we were talk I was talking about the left hook, and Whitaker throws it, lands it again. I mean, it's just so short and tight. That's the kind of power he can create from that short distance. You don't see it coming. It gets out of the eye line, boom! Lands it, knocked him on his butt. Tavares showing toughness, gets right back, but then Whitaker followed up again. That right hand of Tavares was low. So now we're starting to see Hester slow down just a little bit. Lactic acid build up in those muscles, making the punches cumbersome. Robert. Oh, Hester's retreating, Dan. Yeah. Oh, he goes down with a knee. He's coming through he goes with some heavy shots. That is it, Robert Whitaker with cries of joy. But this knee that came up the center was beautifully placed. Right on the forehead, drop Hester, and then swarmed it with some ground and pound, forced the referee to save him. Really nice performance by, uh, by the Reaper. Yeah, good fun fights, that one. Every time he throws shots, he anticipates the return, and he freezes up, and when he does, Whitaker uncorks perfectly timed combinations. Look out, again, the Whitaker makes the use Look, of the distance so shot here. well. And it is all over. It's it. Robert Whitaker finishes Colton Smith. Here it is. Look at this combination. Boom. And, you know, Colton Smith is running in with his hands down. He gets clipped by that left hook. To Colton's credit, he's trying to win the fight. He's doing his best to try to close the distance on a superior striker. But, man, Whitaker is crisp, and his timing is outstanding. He's going to limit him to southpaw. Again. Shot the lights out. Let's take a look at it again. He gets hit with that low kick, covers up. Pajeda's moving in. Boom! Oh. And catches a boom again. Right hand. And then hammer fist out cold. Wow. Let's look at it again. Pajeda, just Pajeda is going. hands yep. down, just teeing off on him. Bang! Oh. Look at that right hand. Bang again. Left hook behind it. Out cold. Hammer fist. 
take risks and start going upstairs because now he's got Costa's attention so much. Ooh. And then he's out. And then he's going to go to the leg again. This is just beautiful work here. Oh, right off the dome. I don't know how Costa ate that one. Split him open, though. And at this point, his legs are gone. I mean, he was trying to put on a good poker face, but his legs were trashed by Israel Adesanya. Here, look at that slip. Boom, there's that slide back left hand right off the temple, drops him, and Israel goes in for the kill, starts smashing him with hammer fist. Very similar to the finish against Robert Whitaker here and the way that they end up in this awkward position. Ends up getting mount though, and you see, you see how badly he wants to land those elbows with. Pretty good right hand counter there from Whitaker. The quickness of Adesanya to evade these high kicks. Hands down, just leaning back out of the range of those kicks. He's got to be very careful. And here it is. Look at that. It's just the counters over and over when they were going in and exchanging. Izzy kept landing those strikes. Go to the beginning, at the end of the first round. Left hook counter. Again, Robert feels comfortable. They're throwing. Izzy lands. Look. Boom! Left hook right on the chin as he's leaning back. Hurts Whitaker. Jumps on him for the finish. What a performance by the last style bender. Smiles smiles it. Oh! 20 seconds to Tyson go in the ride. I don't know, Joe. Oh, he with an up. elbow. Oh, oh he's, he's hurt, again. Man. Oh, another That's knockdown. Wow. Israel Adesanya. Here comes the big shot. Boom, oh. and that's what we called earlier. Yep. We're saying if he keeps reaching in like that, a knee is coming. And he clipped him with that knee and hurt him. And when he did hurt him, he looked for openings. Boom, catches him coming in, perfectly timed, and immediately separates, gets some space. And then as Derek Brunson moves in, style bender. There's the head kick and the right hand behind it like a whip. I mean, he's just so effortless and fluid. And look how he ducks under that punch. Bink. I mean, the way, oh. bink, left hand. The way he throws those shots. Spit blood on him. Wilkinson exhausted, attempted 16 takedowns. And the end here might be a formality. Big this, right hand. This looks like physical surrender to me. He's not yeah. answering back. He just has his hands up. It's not going to take much for the referee to stop this one. This yeah. is a punching bag right now. Oh, huge right hand from Adesanya after Wilkinson had landed a knee. Not sure how much more Steve Percival needs to see. There's a knee. Yeah, this guy is done. That's it. Israel Adesanya. And look at these shots. Beautiful stuff with the jab. That's what set everything up. Combinations to the body. But look at it here. An even paced attack. Didn't go crazy. Didn't go nuts. Didn't allow Wilkinson to clinch and get the takedown. Right here, body, head, knee. Great combinations, angling as he's punching. This is the kind of finish you want for your first UFC fight. It showed that he has real maturity on the feet. And they're finding the mark frequently. Brendan Allen's got to do something different. As I said, he needs head movement and he needs feints because I'm not seeing either right now. Another jab. Oh, good one, two. Oh, that that was Allen. Allen. Strickland trying to end it. it. That's and it does. Sean Strickland. Wow. Yeah, as you said, he was just throwing them out there. Wasn't looking for the knockout, letting the punches do the talking and putting together combinations one after the other. And look at this. When he had him hurt, went in for the kill. And Herb Dean saved Brendan Allen from a lot of damage there. And that was a huge win for Sean. Brendan Allen is top of the food chain. 
Strickland said, I want to turn him into a punching bag. He has largely done that in the second round. Magomedov has been a punching bag. It almost feels like Sean is playing with his food a little bit. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. Do it. 45 seconds. Oh, man, what are we waiting for? It's done. It's over. It's over. Continuing oh, to hammer oh, away. Beautiful performance. Stop, stop, stop. That's wow. it. Sean Strickland's. I mean, let's take a look at this. I mean, beautiful stuff from Sean Strickland right off the bat. And he has such a simple game. It's ones and twos, but it's the pressure and the volume and the relentless attack. As soon as he finds a weakness, he begins to chip at it and chip at it and chip at it. And eventually, Abus Magomedov just had one direction to go, and that was out. And there it is, and easily defended by Sean Strickland. And goes right back to work in that jab. Garcia may be hurt here. Looks a little wobbly on those legs, and he is. Sean Strickland now searching for the finish. Garcia's hurt bad. Strickland, oh, it's it. down! Sean Strickland with a massive KO! That jab right there, right on the chin, stunned Alex Garcia. Strickland smelled it right away. And watch it how he intelligently still goes for the finish, but from his range. He's not charging in where he can get caught with a crazy counter punch. Stays at a good range where he can hit Garcia and boom, the big right gets a finish. He wants to, he's gonna step over. Okay, much better now. Good job. In in trying to go after that hand, he gave up an opening for the, look at this. Beautiful job taking the back. Very nicely done. Bubba is in all sorts of trouble. Wow. 30 right seconds. Under the trying to finish That's it. it. That is all it. over. Beautiful Sean job. Strickland. Round and pound. Then when he got him to the ground, boom. He gets him in, gets his back, hits him with a shot, and look, in the transition, sunk it right underneath the neck. Beautiful job. And look how Strickland's not letting him close his guard. He's keeping his hips back enough so he can sit up and land big punches. Just like oh, that. Baby. Big right direct. That was a big shot to the chin. Not into left. I'm not sure his heads are completely clear. He's taking some of these shots here. Another one as Strickland goes down. And that's it. So that consistent pressure of Sean Strickland paid off. Eventually he was able to reach Nordin Taleb with a really clean overhand right. Caught him on the temple. And then, you know, in the successive shots that came, Nordin Taleb just wasn't able to create the space to recover. You know, it was this, this trickle effect of Sean Strickland that kept peppering him with long shots, long range shots, keeping him on the back foot. And then when he was finally in the top position, he picked these shots very well. Right here you see a straight right hand that stuns Robert Whitaker. You can see right away Rob was hurt bad. He's like staggering. And it was only a matter of time before Duplessis went and got him. You don't see this happen to Robert Whitaker very often. He goes down very rarely. And look at that body shot. Oh my goodness. Yep. The wherewithal to not just go head hunting by Duplessis. He went to the body right up under the elbow. Drops Whitaker. Jumps on him and gets the finish. What a performance. You've not had the time to build it up in your head. The difference with Duplicy is he was signed to another organizer. Oh! But lands a clean hook to the side of Perez's head, drops him to the canvas, lands a couple more shots, ducks into that short left hook. Really unusual punch, like a shovel punch. Right on the ear. A la Robbie Lawler. He throws that, uh, that left kick high very effortlessly. There's no tell on it, so it just kind of goes up towards your head. Oh, there we go, good job. Good shot. Oh! Tonight's Freaky Fast Finish is brought to you by Jimmy John's. I mean, he misses and then just follows it up with that right hand that drops Giles. I mean, if we went back a little further, Giles landed his best punch in the fight. And he might have took a picture, admired his work. And then here comes Duplassie 
with the big right hand to finish him. Doesn't rush. He's, he's landing. And so is Till, though. Till's just kind of poking at him with that jab. Oh, right in the mouth. Look at that. Oh, and a big right hand greets Till when he gets to the floor. That's a huge moment for Duplessis. There's the tap. Just like that. Drake is Duplessis. Four and on the UFC and coming to the top wow. ten next week. Let's take a look at it here. Not much resistance. It goes, it slides right into Mount. Lands a couple of good shots. Darren turns over and gives his back. Duplessis goes right under the chin. Secures yeah. the tap. What was it, dude? Oh, 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 my goodness. Brunson nearly out on oh, his feet. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Oh, big right hand gets through for Duplessis. Oh, Duplessis in real. He's got him. He's in a real good opportunity here to, to stop this fight. Herb D is taking a close look. Derek's legs are just flying in the air. He's not effectively utilizing his guard. Oh! Oh! oh big shot! Oh! The, the towel. The towel just got thrown in. They just threw the towel over there. Exchange here. And there's a left hand that rocks him, right hand rocks him. One, two. Brunson's just trying to hold on at this point. Now here's the end. Here's the end where it looks like Derek had completely relaxed. Oh, it looks like he's tired. Like, I mean, oh, Hammer fist, boom, oh. and that heavy left.